honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now. Yoo-hoo, baby! Oh, no! Okay, let's split up and meet in an hour in front of the Yak Shack. And my mom is pounding on the door, and I'm like, Mom, don't come in here. I'm yakking off. Boo! So I've been carrying this really promiscuous guide around, and my back starts itching. I go to the doctor. Turns out I got Sherpies. <laughs> yeah, I'll meet you guys here. I'm just going to be here. This isn't fair! Swanson, you know your assignment. You get me the guy who's been rubbing his butt all over Dunkin' Donuts. Can I help you? Not illegal, not illegal. Show me the law, not illegal. Oh, Stewie, how exciting. Your first visit to a real fire station. Yeah, you kids always loved your first trip to the fire station. You remember when we took Meg? I hate him. His mouth is always open like P. Diddy. Well, what do you mean? You ever notice how in every photo of P. Diddy, his mouth is hanging open? Well, actually, Diddy hired a guy to close his mouth for him. I'm telling you, this kid is the next Justin Bieber. Young girls love him, but he makes real music that... Sorry I'm late. Traffic. Yeah, but don't get your hopes up, Lois. I couldn't afford to get you what I got you last year. I know how you like that song, so I got you two turtle doves. Where'd you get these? I went to a scientist and had them genetically engineered. Fly, beautiful turtle doves. Bring Christmas cheer to all. <laughs> ah! Ah! Everybody outside! We'll do the rest of Christmas outside! Go, go, go! Dad, how did you get Mom out of the house so we could decorate? Well, Chris, I constructed a very elaborate fake grocery store. Oh, my God. Are these pickles really only 39 cents? That's right, ma'am. Wow, <laughs> this is incredible. What the hell's going on here? Be a little more thoughtful with your choices. What are you talking about? I'm just having a little fun. For God's sakes, I've just been handed the coolest freaking toy on the planet. Well, you know, except for hungry, hungry Alec Baldwin's. I, I'm not, I, I'm not even touching the lever. Permission to begin a day of epic lovemaking, sexy lady? Permission granted, sir. And if I need help, I'll just fantasize about that Victorian stripper. Yeah, you slut. Doth the magistrate know what you're doing tonight? Good. Now undo the top six buttons of your hundred-button shoes. Yeah, I sure had my troubles when I got involved with the Boy Scouts. At no time were the campers and Mr. Griffin naked simultaneously. They merely engaged in horseplay. Did Mr. Griffin sodomize the boys? Mr. Griffin vehemently denies all allegations. Well, I hope everyone had a fun afternoon at the firehouse. I sure did, Mom. I can't wait for the next family outing. Oh, thanks, Mike. I hate fire stations. No problem, man. Is that alcohol on your breath? Yeah, maybe. You're playing this too fast and loose, Mike! Interest in this, but I was wondering if you want to go to Vegas with me and see Celine Dion. Are you kidding? Of course I want to go! Wow, these are good seats! I know. Apparently they were donated by Goldman's Pharmacy. Turns out Mort's cousin is Celine's opening act. Really? What's his talent? I understand he's a magician of sorts. All right, for this next trick, I need a quarter from the audience. Okay, thank you. I'm going to the store. Anybody need anything? Yeah, can you get me a chess set and a backwards hat? I got some inner city school kids I got to inspire tomorrow. Okay, Darius, point to the king. That's right. It's you. I'm gonna miss drinking at the clam. I'll tell you what I won't miss. That waiter who thinks he has to be funny. Yes, I'd like to chop salad, please. And could I get no onions on that? Hmm, I've got a few connections in the back. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, that's funny. If there's one onion on that salad, you can forget the $1.80 tip you need to live. Couldn't you tell something was up when Chris and the fat man could follow the plot? I mean, it took Peter a year to figure out Stuart Little. I just figured it out. Stuart means mouse. No, Peter. Little means mouse? No, Peter. I feel so old and in the way. Oh, we don't need a map, Brian. I got us a GPMS machine. Go up. What do you think? Just go up. Sorry. Okay, can everyone just stop freaking out and just give me, like, two minutes? God! <laughs> Everyone's always yelling at me. What? All the questions! All right, well, maybe we'll turn you on later and see how you feel. 
She was so nice in the store. Hey, wait a minute. If this is an imposter, then this guy we're following never had cancer. Yeah, so? Well, you're a dog. Can't you just sniff cancer? No, that's just a myth we started so we could stick our snouts in girls' boobs. <sighs> it's nice to have a clean bill of health. Well, for now. The key is weekly follow-ups. You know, cervical cancer is also a problem. My boyfriend thinks he might have prostate cancer. Nope, doesn't. Just stay away from my booze. It wasn't me, Brian. Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on around here lately. Just yesterday, somebody gave Peter a hot butt. La 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 la, regular life. La 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 la. Do you want an excuse to not go home this Christmas? Then fly Northwest Airlines. At Northwest Airlines, thousands of employees are dedicated to delaying and canceling flights so you won't get home for the holidays. No way I'm getting you on your connecting flight. No way we're taking off on time. Don't worry, I'm taking this flight back to the gate. Do you think Jeff will make it home this year? No way, because Jeff flew Northwest. Thanks, Northwest. I hate my family. Hey, what's that? I thought all the space shuttles were decommissioned. Well, we always keep one spacecraft flight ready in the event a satellite needs service, there's a space station emergency, or an Italian guy needs to over-exaggerate. I swear to God, Johnny, I've had it up to... Here with your BS. Ooh, he's really had it this time. I'm sorry, Louie. All right, then. Guess I could clear my schedule. Oh, you won't regret it, Brian. All the most important Broadway people will be there. Playwrights, money men, even Stanley Kowalski. Hi, I'm Michael. Michael! Michael! Um, and this is my wife, Nancy. Nancy! Nancy! And this is our Uzbekistani friend, Boykyav Roychescu. You awake? It's a beautiful day. Mm, yeah, I'm just glad I didn't die from that weird sleep-breathing thing I have. Ah!